Welcome to this Windows Server Basics video. My name is Oren Thomas, I've been writing Windows Server textbooks for more than 20 years, and I work at Microsoft on a variety of things related to Windows Server and Hybrid Cloud. In this video, I'll discuss the different editions of Windows Server 2025. The main editions of Windows Server are Windows Server 2025 Standard, Windows Server 2025 Data Center, and Windows Server 2025 Azure Edition. There is also a Windows Server 2025 Essentials Edition, which I'll cover later as it's less commonly used. We will start with the differences between Windows Server Standard and Windows Server Data Center Editions. For the most part, the editions of Windows Server are the same. Out of 125 roles, sub-roles, features, and sub-features, only around half a dozen that are available in the Data Center Edition are not present in the Standard Edition. The primary items not present in Standard, but which are present in Data Center Edition are Automatic Virtual Machine Activation, Azure Extended Networking, Storage Spaces Direct, Host Guardian Hyper-V Support, and Network Controller. The primary reason you'd choose Data Center Edition over Standard Edition is that you want to use the operating system as a host for a whole bunch of virtual machines. The standard edition of Windows Server includes two guest Windows Server virtual machine licenses. Running additional VMs beyond two requires that you purchase additional OS licenses. The data center edition includes unlimited Windows Server guest virtual machine licenses. This means you can run as many Windows Server VMs as your capacity allows as long as the data center operating system itself is correctly licensed. Data center also allows you to use shielded virtual machines and allows you to automate the management, configuration, monitoring, and troubleshooting of virtual and physical network infrastructure using Network Controller. Another reason you might want to use Data Center Edition is Storage Spaces Direct. Storage Spaces Direct aggregates the local storage across multiple servers into a single, resilient storage pool through software-defined storage and functions as an alternative for traditional shared storage solutions like SANS or NAS devices. There is also some functionality differences between editions with Storage Replica. Storage Replica on Standard Edition is limited to a single volume of up to two terabytes, whereas Data Center allows you to configure Storage Replica for unlimited volumes of unlimited size. Windows Server introduces a new pay-as-you-go license in addition to the traditional perpetual license. The pay-as-you-go licensing allows organizations to pay for their Windows Server usage based on actual consumption. The pay-as-you-go license connects to and is charged through an Azure subscription, and it might make sense for organizations to have one set of fixed licenses and then to use pay-as-you-go options for more transient deployments. The Data Center Edition and Azure Edition of Windows Server are essentially the same except for one or two small differences. The Azure Edition can only be run in Azure or on Azure Stack HCI and is activated through Azure. Azure Edition doesn't support Windows Server containers. The assumption is likely that if you're running a server instance on Azure or Azure Stack HCI, you'll use the built-in container hosting and orchestration capabilities of those platforms directly rather than doing it through hosting them on Windows Server. Azure Edition also doesn't include virtualization rights, which means you can't spin up an Azure Edition server in the cloud and then run unlimited licensed Windows Server VMs that way. The least talked about edition of Windows Server is the Essentials Edition. You can only get Windows Server Essentials from an OEM and it's designed for small environments. Essentials has a limit of 25 connected users or 50 connected devices supports a maximum of 64 gigabytes of RAM, two processor sockets, and 10 CPU cores. In comparison, standard and data center editions support 64 sockets 
and up to four petabytes of RAM for hosts that support five level paging, with 256 terabytes for hosts that support four level paging. If you're interested in more detail about the differences between editions and each edition's capacities, I've put some links in the description below to the official documentation on learn.microsoft.com. And that's the main differences between editions of Windows Server.